Okay, in soon cab as, inspection. Take one. <laughs> okay, as soon as you guys finish your, your pre-trip and then you do your coupling, as soon as you're done, you're going to come sit in here on the driver's seat and then you do your in cab. So as soon as you sit down, and the first thing I want you guys to cover is your three S's. Okay, I'm going to do this in a sweeping motion. We start from the furthest left and we sweep this way. I will end at the defroster, okay? So the three S's. The first S I'm going to cover is my safety equipment, which is my far left, which is outside in my box. What do I uh, have in my three? What do I have in my safety equipment is my three things. I got three triangles, six fuses, and my fire extinguisher, okay? That's my first S. My second S is my seatbelt. I want to make sure that my seatbelt's not cut and it's not frayed and that it latches, unlatch, and then I'll latch it so I have my seatbelt on. My third S is my safe start. As soon as I roll this over, I will mention my ABS light that's at the bottom before it disappears. Here's my safe start. My ABS light is right here. Now it's going to disappear. Okay, and now I'm going to fire the truck up because now I need to show you how everything operates, but it needs to be power operated. Okay, there's my safe start. Now, I'm gonna sweep it this way. First thing I'm gonna mention is my, my mirror. To adjust my mirror, I hit the L button, which is for left, and then I move it side to side. Okay, R stands for right. I will move that side to side. My convex mirror is manual, so I just move that manually with my hands if I need to. Um, I'm going to go right into my windshield. I want to make sure my windshield is not cracked. There's no illegal stickers. And I will mention now my windshield wipers. How it works. Here's my windshield washer fluid. Okay. Now I will cover my lights. I have my left turn signal right turn signal, my high beams, my low beams, my four ways. Okay, I'm gonna go to my steering wheel right into my gauges. There are two things on my steering wheel. There are two horns, my city horn and my air horn. Okay, all right. So now I'm gonna mention my four gauges. I'm gonna start from the lowest number and I'm gonna shoot it to the highest. I want to talk about my voltmeter, which is my battery. It is digital. Okay, it's 14, but the operating range is 12 to 14. My second number, so I'm, it's rising, is my oil. I will read what it's supposed to, not what it is right now. Operating range on my oil is 40 to 60. My primary and my secondary is 120 to 140. This is my primary and my secondary. And then my water temperature, should be at 180 to 210. So as you can see, the numbers start from the lowest to the highest. 12 to 14, 40 to 60, 120 to 140, 180 to 210. Okay, now I'm gonna go to my defroster. I'm gonna turn it up to the defroster, turn on my heat, I'm gonna blast the top. Make sure I fill it up here. Then I'm going to turn around and put it to the floor and make sure I feel it down there. And there it is. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to do my tug test. So there are three maneuvers from my tug test that go straight down. Just like a, a eye, I guess. So I got my primary, my secondary, and I got my service. So how I'm going to tug this, I'm just going to use my clutch, put it in low gear. I'm going to push in my primary, which is my mustard, and I'm just going to play with my clutch until you feel that tug on my trailer. There it is. Now I'm going to switch it. I'm going to pull that out and push in my trailer to tug on my tractor. Okay, there it is. Now I'm gonna push them both in and let the truck roll three to five feet and I'm gonna test my brakes to make sure they work. There it is. 
Now I'm gonna go right into my brake test. I'm gonna leave it in low gear. I'm gonna leave my brakes engaged. I mean disengaged. I'm gonna turn my truck off, so I'm not gonna touch nothing. I'm gonna turn it off. Get off my brakes, get off my clutch. Then I'm gonna turn my key back on so I can get my gauges to work. Okay, now my top right corner over here, there is a number that says A, and A stands for applied. I'm gonna apply 90 PSI pressure. You can see it right up here. I wanna make sure I don't lose more than how many PSI in a minute? Four. Four. So your tester will test you. And we just say, okay, it's been a minute. All right, now I'm gonna tell you a story. I want you guys to tell the story and then perform it, okay? Now, if I fan my brakes down to 60, I should get two indications, either a visual or an audio, letting me know that I'm losing air, okay? Uh, primary and secondary will usually blow up red, telling me I'm, I lost air, okay? If I continue to fan my brakes down to 40, my trailer should pop. If I continue to fan my brakes down to 20, my tractor should pop, but sometimes they pop out together. So what's the first number I gave you guys? 50. 60, 40, 20. So what's the first number? 60. 60. Now I'm going to perform it. See, it's almost at 60. So now I'm going to pump my brakes until it gets to 60 until I get an indication. And it should be right there. See it? So I get one that says stop, low system air pressure, primary, secondary is blown up red. Okay. That tells me that I lost air, so there's my 60. Now, this is 40, 20, sometimes they pop out together. So now I'm going to pump my brakes out until these pop out. Okay? So now I'm going to continue to pump my brakes, but my eyes are here. So, show this. There it is. And there's your in cab, tug test, brake test. I just passed. I'm gonna go do my straight line.